What's up guys, Mr. Gash here. Here on a rainy day, going on a nice drive. I thought I might, in hands-free fashion, do a nice little narration of some of the stories that happened here. Uh, legendary Lake Serpent of the Okanagan. It has a misappropriation of the name Ogopogo. However, it goes by the spirit of the water, as the, the native tribes call it. So I'm gonna respect it as that. Yeah, we've been on the hunt for this thing and so far we've come to some conclusions like could it be a sturgeon? Are these sightings real? Is it an illusion on the lake? Because there's been no solid evidence that's come up. If it is like its own species, it probably has a population even if it's an alpha predator. But the thing is is that this creature, this sort of Loch Ness type creature, has also been spotted you know, a goat or horse-like head with like horns and the, the two beady eyes in an inlet in the Vancouver Island between the mainland where Vancouver is and Squamish, it's like the Salt Spring Island. Uh, further up north on the Vancouver Island, there has been other sightings and tales of the sightings of this creature. And so that leads me to believe that if this has any truth, like apex predators are built to be really stealth like incredibly stealth, like hide in caves all day and then they only show themselves during select occasions. And so if you really dive into it, if there is one of these things and it's not like a paranormal spirit, right? It has to be a living animal. And the, theory, the ongoing theory is that it could be a really large lake sturgeon. I know there's lake sturgeon in the Okanagan and they're really huge fish, like incredibly huge. It's difficult what we could draw and I mean, this thing is elusive. There's been eyewitnesses though. There have been people who really claimed like, hey, I, they saw something. There's that other video from the uh, elderly couple that showed that floating thing. I can either review that or show a picture here. But I kind of like wanted to go over the fact that there's no credible evidence. And there's been everything from uh, back when the first craze of this happened, there was like a big reward out for this thing, but still was never found. So it leads me to believe that there's a lot of doubt and skepticism and nothing has shown itself yet. So it's hard to say. And what's more is that the fact that there's been this large bounty out for this creature is that if there's a way to actually find and identify it, how do we know that's actually going to be protected by things like our conservatory societies or like the Canadian government when it comes to like something that people would literally pay millions of dollars to like hunt down? Like, that's my theory about Bigfoot and Sasquatch. It's like, you know what? I bet you it is probably real, but they probably have to keep it a secret because they would just hunt them down to extinction by the second they know it was real and they found it a tangible threat. I mean, like, we have, we have, like, silverback gorillas, like, they're huge, like, you think there's just not, like, an ape man from other parts of the world, so, I, I don't know, but we're gonna go more in depth on that on the video, um, other than that, yeah, I've just got thrown ideas, I'm out here on this nice rainy drive, I really appreciate your support, you really made a lot happen, and we're really growing quickly, it's been like such a journey. This is cool. I mean this is a this is a cool profession. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you're hope you're genuinely entertained. I hope even though this is just the most normal hands-free conversation I'm having as I'm driving, I hope you really are captivated by the fact that we are really trying to find legitimate evidence for something paranormal. It's good because then we can debunk things. Then we can understand like, okay, there there was no evidence that showed up and maybe sometimes there's a reason for that. You know, you don't, you don't want to run into a nightmare creature. Like, that's uh, the one thing that I'm not, I don't dabble in. I don't taunt seances. I don't ask for things to start happening. That type of taunting just never ends well. So. Look, look at the hosts and casts of Ghost Adventures. Look at the hosts, Sam and Colby. Like, they, they have really suffered actual attachments, conflicted situations as a result of what they're doing. I've never touched a Ouija board. I don't do that. I'm not trying to summon any spirits. I'm here to, to 
channel was not summoned through my own being, through my own subconscious. I want to, to really extract from the world what is objective. And that's really important in investigating anything. Because I'm in, I'm, I just have a passion for investigating. So I'm glad you could join me. I hope that you're really keeping you all company. Um, show you a little bit of what's on my mind as we go through this third edition of this vlog. It's just a really simple drive with me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, I appreciate you. Like this, this is happening. I'm really excited. Our series is going to get big, haunting. It's going to be a, a longer stretch to make it happen, but that's because we're going to make it quality. And that's really important. We did a lot of research beforehand and behind the scenes. And we're really excited to get a lot of this content out to you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Mr. Cash, out.